The next thing for you to know about e-commerce is how, how, how do you market your site? How do you market your business once your business is up and running? So there's a couple of really key terms and concepts uh, around internet marketing, e-commerce marketing, and uh, we are going to learn about them. We're going to learn about a few other uh, terms in this video. We're going to learn about SEOs, and SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And SEO can also be a job title. So you could go become an SEO where you are a search engine optimizer. And, uh, and then what you would do is you would optimize websites to make uh, them come up when you search for them. How do you make them come up in the search engine results? Because if we go to Google and we search for pizza, right, uh, pizza, let's just search for pizza, right? How many results do we have? Do they still tell us results? Do they still tell us how many results? They don't. That's interesting. Uh, let's search for Shakespeare. There we go. Let's see what comes up with that. 72,800,000 results. 72,800,000 results. So if we had a business selling Shakespeare clothing <laughs> for plays, Right? How would we get out of 72,800,000 results? How would we get ours in the top three? Right? So that when people search for it, look, it would come up right here. And uh, and one thing you should know about search is if it's almost that's not actually showing up there. Let's search for uh, Toyota and see what comes up. So here you could see the slightly different color here. And these are paid for place, placements. These are advertisements. And then here are the organic results right here. So what a search engine optimizer, somebody who's an SEO does, is they try to uh, build, help build a website and uh, market a website so that it comes up in one of these top results. But that's a really difficult job because to do that, you have to understand how does a search engine like Google, how does it rank the results? And not only that, the different search engines not that there are different ones out there, but you know, Google's like 75% of the market. So trying to understand what Google does is a bit of a guessing game because they don't share their secrets with everybody about how they do this because that's how they do their business. And, uh, and that's proprietary. That's part of their secret sauce for, hey, this is how we do what we do. We get really good search results for you. And so being a search engine optimizer, somebody who tries to get websites to appear in the top rankings, you have to try to figure out and you know and there's a bunch of research and people communicating and talking about what they think are the factors that rank sites uh, but you have to look at all that and then see what can I do to my site to help it rank and basically what you're looking for is you want to have a quality site that's used by a lot of people you want to have a quality site that's used for a lot of people and it needs to be topical and so that's what an SEO does a search engine optimizer is they try to help uh, your website gain presence on Google <laughs> and other search engines, but mostly just on Google since it's 75% of the market. And you could go to lynda.com and uh, or you could go to Udemy, right, or whatever. There's different places you can learn about. So if I search for SEO on Udemy, right, search engine optimization training SEO, search engine optimization, and uh, and a lot of this stuff is just hooey. Right, um, it's good to know. Lynda.com's got a lot of stuff here. Sixty different trainings that you could take on, uh, you know, building integrated online marketing plan, <clears throat> using LinkedIn, so some social media marketing, web semantics, mm -hmm. uh, web that be uh, HTML5. So you know, different videos you can learn about marketing your website. So not only do you have to build your website, you got to market it and you got to get it out there because you can have a great website, but if nobody knows about it, it's not going to do anybody any good. So that's search engine optimization. Next thing we're going to look at is social media, and uh, social media is also some place where people do a lot of marketing, right? <clears throat> so they want to try to uh, top seven social media marketing trends that will dominate 2014. They want to try to get word of mouth and get people sharing things and that kind of a deal. And uh, so, um, you know, the, the thing that's a little bit sad about this is I call marketing, I call marketing mind control and persuasion. Like in business, that's, that's actually, I think, a better term for what marketing is. Like in business school, 
you take marketing classes, but really what those classes are, are mind control and persuasion. And marketing is really like <clears throat> the mo modern, marketing is the modern uh, propaganda of our day and age, right? So back in the day, corporation, or back in the day, governments used to, you know, throw out propaganda to the public. Really now it's corporations, right? And so marketing is kind of like, in some ways, it's a, it's a, it's an evil thing. Like what, the good side of it is that marketing should inform people about what's available, and um, you know it should make us more educated. So like I I know that hey Toyota's got a better car, they have a better car, it's safer, you know, or or whatever, right? Or oh I I should eat this, this is gonna be better for me. But that's really kind of lost. That's really been sort of lost at the expense of making money. Uh, regardless of how it impacts people and their health and their lives. And so it's really just sort of this, uh, this capitalistic machine of more and more and more and more and greed, 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 greed. And how do we get more for ourselves? And, and how do we convince people to buy our stuff, regardless of whether or not it's in their best interest <laughs> to buy your stuff, you know? Um, and so that's what I think is kind of evil about capitalism. Truly evil, truly evil. All right, it's a, it's about me at the extreme, at the expense of you, and who cares what happens to other people. And uh, and that might sound like an extreme statement, but it's true. It's a true statement. It's exactly how things happen in this world. So uh, social media, right? They're like, wow, how do we use social media? People connecting to sell them more crap. And so that's another area of of uh, online marketing, social media marketing. And here are some of the different social media places that are out there. And by the way, this marketing thing is such a big deal. It's the number one revenue source for Google and Facebook, <laughs> right? But social media marketing sites that are out there, YouTube, uh, Yelp, uh, Google, Google Plus, Facebook, right? Um, old MySpace, Reddit, right? So just, just different social media sites that are out there. So that's social media. Uh, SEOs, viral marketing is marketing that goes viral. So just like a virus, like the flu virus in the real world might get spread from person to person to person. Uh, viral marketing is like, uh, is putting something together that people think is so cool they share it with everybody else. So recently my favorite viral marketing thing that's going on is uh, Carrie Coffee Shop. Uh, this is my favorite right now. So there's a uh, Stephen King's book, Carrie, is being remade into a movie and released. And so this little video right here is pretty dang funny. Um, uh, social media, you know, so it'd be, they're hoping that goes viral. And actually, so far, it's uh, gained a lot of traction. Finally, the last thing is email marketing. And you can just search for email list management. And uh, you can find places like Constant Contact or whatever. And uh, they will help you. Uh, I don't, I've never been to that website before. I'm no way saying it's a good one. Uh, you, these are all paid advertisements, by the way, right here. We'll learn more about this in a second. MailChimp, right? The first organic search result and a pretty quality looking site. So these organic search results right here are pretty cool, right? Because uh, Google has deemed them as being the, the best and uh, for what you're looking for. And this one does look pretty, pretty dang awesome. So this would allow you to manage and spam people basically, except it's not spam if they're your customers and they wanna receive your email. That's considered opt in. They've opted in to receiving your email. And if I go and I look at my email, you know, like I will receive email from uh, OAT and overseas adventure travel, right? They send me emails and it's like, yeah, I'm interested. And so I'll take a look at, at what, their, uh, what their emails have to say, what kind of trips they're offering. So that's uh, email marketing and it falls under the guise of CRM and CRM is customer relationship management. So managing your customers. And salesforce.com is, uh, is uh, one of the CRM platforms that you can use to uh, to help to help do that. So that's a whole lot about web marketing, SEO, social media marketing, viral marketing, and email marketing. And those are all concepts you need to be familiar with when learning about e-commerce and websites and doing business online.